Busy. You are now in tune to the sounds and the visuals, frequency, vibration. This is Chaco 69. Welcome, YouTubers, friends, family, YGs, OGs, YDs, all y'all. <laughs> y'all, welcome to my channel. This is Chaco69, you know what it is. Happy New Year, welcome to 2021. Here we go again. Hopefully this one goes much better than last year. I do have to admit that on a personal level, Except for the health crisis and for the people I know that were lost, it, you know, was a very in interesting year. I don't like to use the word good or bad, generally. Um, and one of the things that did happen right before 2020 ended, and I'm very excited to show you all, is I picked up, -da 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 -da, I bought another piece of art. This is Alfonso Gonzalez here in Los Angeles as well. Paints a lot of kind of San Gabriel Valley scenes. I grew up in the San Gabriel Valley. I am a big fan of his. And so when Beyond the Streets was opening up digitally, I knew that I would get to participate. And as soon as I saw that this print was going up, I I think that I was literally the first person to buy it. We'll see what number I get on here. This is a printed series, you know, legit. I paid just a little under 300 total with the shipping for this. And so I'm very, 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 I'm gonna open this up. Before I do, I'm gonna have Barrett Anderson confirm that I've been waiting like at least three days this came in the mail to make this video, to get the scan disc for this camera, and she'll be tweeting it. I'm putting it in this video right here. Confirmation, hashtag Chaco69 vlogs. And let's do it. Of course, you got your classic roller. Even though you didn't ask for it, it is a um, I think I'm gonna start here. I just gotta exact it. I've been wanting to buy artwork from this person for some time now, so I'm super excited to, to be an owner. This is my second like official fine art piece. Thank you for your order, postcard. Cool, thanks. And here it is. Oh my gosh. Sorry, little planty. I love you, but I'm just gonna let you drink for a little bit. I'm gonna move the Mikey Wikey a little bit this way. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my god, it looks so fucking beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab it with this paper that it came with. Y'all are gonna have to wait for me to framer because this is actually gonna go right here. See that empty spot right there? Oh, hell yes. Number 27. All right, job. Here you go. Look at this. Wow. Got the number down 
down here. And um, it's, it's a print, right, of a painting, but then the borders, he spray painted himself. It's beautiful, beautiful, thick paper. We got an embossment here on the bottom, Beyond the Streets. Authentication doesn't look like there is one. So the plan for this piece now is to take it to the framers to get framed and put it up. So I'll let y'all know how that goes. I am so freaking excited. Boo boo, come look at this. Barrett finds this a little creepy. I think it's a little creepy. <laughs> but, you know, everybody has different art tastes. We generally have pretty similar tastes. And here and there, you know, we still gotta have our own unique differences. And so, okay. I, I love this. It does not look creepy to me at all. Although I can see to an extent how it can look creepy. But when you grow up poor, everything looks creepy. So you get used to kind of poor, creepy vibes. And that's what some of San Gabriel Valley is. Thank you. Bye. We're gonna keep this going. Peace. All right, y'all. So I just installed my red foot mat, foot mats for my civic project. Civic project. And as I was walking out to my car to do the installation. Guess what I found? Yes, baby. You know what that means. That means we're ready to finish. Art print vlog. <laughs> you too was Gucci to all my wavy babies. I've been waiting some time now to put all of this together and to finally get it up on my wall. I told you that I was gonna find a frame for this print and the frame is finally here. So it's time to open this up and put it all together. Let's see. So I have the frame right here. I'm about to open it up. I got the print right here. Look at all this beautiful brown. A shout out to all the cardboard. Always working hard to do the right thing. Gotta appreciate the cardboard. Because of COVID, I haven't seen my family in over a month now. And, and I really missed out on a lot of important family events this year. And we all did, right? Kind of really sucks. There's a couple options for frames. There was a this wood color. Sorry, as an artist, sometimes I feel like I should use more jargon, but I'm just not familiar with it, so. And so I've been a fan of Alfonso for a couple years now, mostly through Instagram. You know, messaged a couple times here or there, 
and I saw this piece, it was up on Beyond the Streets since it was virtually this year. And I did it. I just went for it. I'm sure there's no way to prove it. I'm 100% sure that I was like the first person to buy this print because I was waiting, waiting. And as soon as the buy button came on, and the homie, Mr. Hip, can verify this. He was sitting right next to me. I had it open and he saw the button turn from um, notify to buy. And as soon as it did, I went <laughs> And this is the frame that I mentioned in the Blix Hall. Enjoy the sounds, baby. Okay, it's got one on the other side, but we'll do, actually we have to do that now. Film number two. Now we put these back on. And so a little bit about my art collection is I am focusing on contemporary artists that are alive and people that I would consider to be like, you know, my contemporaries as a painter, people that are, have, are a little, have obviously established themselves in the industry a bit. But, um, I can't say that it's all only Latino, because I have some pieces that are from non-Latinx artists that are alive, that I'll show y'all. But, you know, like I mentioned in the other video, I got my, uh, wow, wow, by some boys, my t-shirt collection, which is a lot of Latino artists. So the video got cut off, unfortunately, and you know, what can be said or done. Either way, you can see the pieces up. It's back there. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Alfonso, just thank you for being true to yourself and for making this art yours. Such an inspiration. I'm so grateful that I get to have one of your pieces here, bringing that creative, that brown energy into my space. And this actually inspired me to make a series of other art videos. The next one that I'm making is gonna be why you should collect art. Look out for that. Either way, thank you friends. If you enjoy this content, give me a subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment. Let's try to have five likes and five comments. I, I'm not a lofty person. I like to set realistic goals. Five likes, five comments. I believe that we can do it. Love you, love you, love you. This is Chaco69. Con amor y sin temor. Peace.